This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S1 Ison and WTF Professional Science. Seriously, bro. Part the start. I hope you don't mind, but while I was finishing part 50, I had to look back and see where and when this all started. Technically, it started when they announced Comet Ison as Comet of the Century in January, and I waited, and on February 5th, they released the first new footage of Comet Ison, and so I got very excited, and I put up this footage. It's short, simple, and sweet, and it's where it all began. Thor News presents... Here we are looking at Kama Ison. She's a beauty. She's a dazzler. Sparkler. You can tell this one is special. The Comet of the century. You notice the bulbs going off all around her as she flies by like other stars are taking pictures of her. She's beautiful. I feel like she's going to be real, real special. Giving you guys a few close-up looks at it. NASA dropped this footage today, February 5th. Enjoy. And then seven weeks had passed, and we had not gotten any information on Comet Ison, which I found strange. So I made this video on March 27th, technically I guess, where the official saga began almost nine months ago. Enjoy. Thor News presents Comet C-2012 S1 Ison and WTF NASA. Seriously, bro. Dear NASA, could you pretty please point one of your big old fancy billion dollar telescope cameras at Comet Ison? This thing started out with a bang. Comet C-2012 S1 Ison. It was discovered September 21st, 2012 by Nevsky and Novak Konkonikoko. And since the moment it was discovered, it's been like nothing but a hype machine. This has been the most hyped comet ever. Right out the box and over the gate, the hype machine was geared to go. And away it went. The legend grew. First it was tagged, Comet of the Century. It was going to be visible to the naked eye in 2013. And then the legend of the Comet of the Century, Ison, grew. It might be as bright as the full moon. It might be a day comet, where you can see it during the day. It's going to be as bright as the moon. It's going to be brighter than the moon. The hype machine was roaring. And then, dun dun dun, da da dun. And they started throwing on crazy numbers like 10 times brighter than the full moon and they said it could be up to 10 times brighter than the full moon and they said it could be up to 15 times brighter than the full moon you'll be able to see it all day every day for a couple months one of the brightest brightest comet in history and the legend on this thing just grew and grew and then they gave us they gave us this video and um it's a little dot they call it a dirty snowball but that's offensive especially if you watch clerks i don't even want to know what a dirty snowball is I remember I got excited when this footage came out. I made a video, and it was just a little dot. But it's still a little dot. It's like six weeks, bro. Come on. If this comet is so spectacular, how come we haven't gotten any new footage since February 3rd? It's like six weeks, bro. And then we haven't got anything else. WTF, NASA. I mean, if this thing is so special, why can't we get a look at it? Is she naked? Put a bra on her. Nudity. Comet nudity. No one will stand for that. NASA even went as far as to create a site on their stereo website showing the orbit where it's coming where it's coming from where you'll be able to see it how you'll be able to see it like seriously it's that special and magical that it went to all this trouble but then why aren't you turning a camera i mean why can't we see this thing and like we got nothing like this is google from today there ain't shit there man why don't you jet propulsion lab your ass to show us what the deal is i mean seriously bro you guys have looked at it 3255 times that is 7.2 times a day. If it is that special that you guys have wanted to look at it and watch it 7.2 times a day, don't you think we would be interested in it as well? NASA, if you want to get people excited about space and the mysteries and the magics and the physics and the realities of things, why not give us a close look? Why can't we be watching this thing like you guys do? What is going on? I just want to know more. And I'm a totally addicted to ice and which should be totally legal. I, 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 it is, I'm pretty sure. Uh, It is, I'm pretty sure. You know, like, why can't you turn one of the stereo cameras as suspicious observers recommended? Or put one of the cameras on it? I mean, can't somebody put a professional, real-deal camera on this thing? Flash. Um, this is cool. I mean, I think comets are awesome. And they're amazing. They're still, you know, fairly new and mysterious to us, to the little kid and all of us. I believe Steven Spielberg said that, you know, the things that appeal to him are still the things that appeal to the child inside. Although I think he said that before he made, went and made four films with Michael Bay. Really, dude, seriously, Spielberg, man, I love you. You're my hero, but four films with Michael Bay, bro? Huh? Huh? What'd you say? What'd you say? Come on. 
Why, why can't we look at it? Give us a good look. Come on, man. Put a, put a camera on it. You guys are friends with us, right? Like, you're here for us. Let us see it. Let us, let us see her. Come on. Let us see the comment, please. Put a camera on it. Put a telescope on it. If you like it and you want it, put a camera on it. Put one of your harp magical magnifying devices on it, dude. Come on, man. Billion dollar camera. One of the really fancy ones. Turned on to ice in at least for a couple hours. You got rotator thingies in those thingies, right? You're going to need to rotate your stuff. I read Ender's Game. You're going to need to rotate your stuff. Ender's Game's coming out soon, by the way. Whether it will be the comment of the century, dud, or something more than a comment, you'll just have to stay tuned to find out the truth. Sorry, tangent. Um, yeah, so seriously, searching for the size of how big this comment is, is it's a headache. If you like it and you want it, put a camera on it. Ooh, look at the full moon. It's pretty full. It's going to be brighter than that. That thing is wicked. Seriously, NASA? You're telling me that it's going to be bigger than that? Up to five, ten times bigger than that? Streaking through the sky. I mean, this is just on my phone. Besides being interesting to watch, the images and data collected by NASA's Solar Observing Fleet can also help scientists learn more about the sun itself. Nudity. Comet nudity. Put a bra on her. All right, so thanks for going back to the start with me before we take a look at part 50. 50 will be nifty. It's called Higher Gear. I'm glad we're still here. We sure have come a long way, baby. It's kind of neat to look back at a time when we were way more innocent and the story was less freaky dicky. Less freaky dicky. And we could say silly things like, Space underwear in your face! All right. Kind of an odd segue into God bless everyone, but I still mean it. Coming up next, part 50.